Hey dudes, okay, I have a, um, I want to do a quick unboxing video. I got, um, an, a package this morning from Goulet Pens, which, um, is a, an amazing company that sells fountain pens, um, inks, uh, paper, all that kind of stuff. Um, but first I want to talk a little bit about kind of my love affair with fountain pens. Um, it's actually pretty new. Um, it all started out because I watched uh, some videos by the amazing artist Danny Gregory and he he writes a lot in his journal with a dip pen um, like this. So um, I, I went out because of course I want to be just like Danny Gregory and I thought the dip pens were so cool. I love how when you're writing with them they leave little you know kind of ink splatters around. So I went out and got this like really inexpensive set of um, dip pens. They have um, there's different sizes that fit into these um, holders and stuff like that and they they honestly are really really fun to use um, for journaling so <clears throat> when I got those I I just randomly came across this set of um, it was a little box with these four bottles of Windsor and Newton um, drawing inks um, which I use with the dip pen I got blue I got purple I got this beautiful, really bright pink, and then also this like lovely emerald green. Um, and I actually found these at a thrift store, so some of them are like half used, but you know, there's obviously still plenty of ink in these bottles. So I got those for a couple dollars, and um, and then I went to you know whatever the the art supply store and just got um, a little bottle of black, you know, Bombay ink um, to use with my dip pen. And I really do love it. It's it's so fun to use. Um, it can be messy if you're not careful, but it, it's really fun. Well, it just so happens that a couple of months after I bought this, I was talking with my father-in-law and uh, told him that I bought a dip pen and I was really loving it. And he is a fountain pen guy from way back. He's been using fountain pens for many years. He has some beautiful pens. Um, he's kind of a collector. He has, you know, these beautiful display cases in his office of all his fountain pens. And um, when I told him I bought a dip pen, he actually gave me, um, for me to try and, you know, as a gift, um, this Pilot Namiki Vanishing Point, which is, um, it's a really well-known fountain pen. So this is the first fountain pen I've ever had. Um, I loved it right away. I thought it was incredible. He filled it up with ink for me and I wrote with it and it was amazing. Well, you know, after a couple of weeks, being the artistic type of girl that I am, I got a little bored with, I think it was blue ink that he had filled it up with. And I was like, oh, I have all these inks. I'll, I'll just fill it up with some pink or blue or green or purple. Well, it turns out the drawing ink is not meant to go inside of a fountain pen so that really messed up the works of this pen and I struggled with it for months uh, because this ink is just not the right texture I guess I think it's a little too thick um, it got in here it dried up in my nib I couldn't get even when I put the right kind of ink back in it I cleaned it many times my father-in-law tried to clean it um, it's this this ink this stuff um, just kind of dried up in there under the nib and it, the ink just would not flow properly after that. Um, my father-in-law finally sent this off to Pilot for me. Um, they did a thorough cleaning. They removed the nib. They, you know, did whatever they do and they restored it to perfect condition again. Um, I just got it back, I don't know, within the last couple of weeks and it is writing like a dream. Um, these pens are um, lifetime guaranteed so if there's any problems even including using the bozo ink um, because you don't know what you're doing um, they will still clean it repair it whatever replace it if necessary um, as part of that guarantee but this is a great pen I love it the only issue I've had with this pen is that I would use it a lot more but because it's a it, it's a little bit more of a higher end pen. I think this pen even still today. This is an older one. I think uh, he got this pen as a gift in 1998, um, and then he gave it to me very recently. But um, 
you know, it, it, because it's a little bit more of a pricey pen, they still sell brand new these pens for about $120. So I hesitate to kind of like toss it in my purse or toss it in my bag when I'm going to go out because, you know, it's, it's a nice pen and I would absolutely die if something happened to it or um, if I lost it, if I anything. So I hesitate to take it with me. That was part of the reason that um, I placed this order from Goulet Pens because I thought, you know, I love the fountain pen. I love to write with it, but I'd like to get one that's not not quite as valuable. So if I did lose it, if something happened to it, I wouldn't feel quite so bad. Um, I will put a link to Goulet Pens down below if you have any interest in um, checking them out. They're really really a great company and um, this is my first order with them but everything I've seen from them and everything I've heard from them I really like. So what I ordered here um, I guess we'll see oh I got a Tootsie Pop how fun look a gift from the Goulets okay um, they were having a sale on uh, these Jin Hao pens. I think, believe that sale might still be going on if anyone's interested, but it was basically buy any Jin Hao fountain pen and then you get this pen um, free. And the pen I chose is this, this beautiful bright orange one. And this pen is, uh, I want to say it was like $12.50. So $12.50, oh, it's... So here's what the pen looks like. Look at that nib. It's beautiful. Oh, I hope it's going to focus. Oh, maybe not. Um, but anyway, this is a $12.50 pen. Um, and then this pen was free with the purchase of this pen. And I don't know if you can see those sparkles on camera, but boy, is this a beautiful pen. Oh, I think I'm taking it apart. Hang on. Just open this so I don't really know what I'm doing yet. There we go. I hope that's focusing. Beautiful. Oh, look at these sparkles. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. This pen is called the Shimmering Sands. And this one is... Uh... It is, uh, like I said, free with the purchase of any other Jin Hao pen. And there's this one, there's a beautiful yellow, there's several different ones. Um, and it, it comes with a converter, both of these pens do. Um, so you can fill it with bottled ink. And it also will accept um, a standard cartridge as well. So you can use cartridge ink if you prefer. I like bottled ink myself, but. Um, oh gosh, that's so pretty. And I love this one because this one is, this is a nice, I don't know if you can even see the size difference. This is a pretty big pen in itself, but this orange one um, is quite big and it's quite heavy. But I like that. Look, you can see the difference in the size in these three. Um, look at these two especially. This is a much bulkier pen. Um, but for something that I'm going to toss in my purse, I thought the bright color um, was perfect. The size was perfect because there's no way this baby's going to get lost in the bottom of my purse. So those are the two pens that I ordered. Oh, and it looks like I got a little ink sample here too. Document ink dark blue. So there's like a little vial of blue ink, which is really fun. Okay, now there's some other stuff in here too because when I went to buy my Jin Hao pens, they were also having a sale, which I think is going on until the end of this month, on um, ink samples. And I love crazy colors. That is one of the things that really drew me to fountain pens um, in the first place. Oh, Randall says he packed my order with a slightly ridiculous amount of care. Got a beautiful bookmark, Preserve Your Memories, Keep Them Well, What You Forget, You Can Never Retell by Louisa May Alcott. Beautiful bookmark. And a sticker. How did they know that I am a sticker fanatic? I love it. Okay. So, that's my packing slip, I'm assuming. Let me check it out. Oh, 
Oh, and look at this. Thanks, Patricia. Patricia. Ooh. I hope you enjoy your ink samples, Jeremy. And he wrote that with Noodler's Navajo Turquoise. What a beautiful color. That's a very pretty ink. You can see it. Look at that. Lovely. Thank you, Jeremy, if you're watching. Okay. And here's all the fancy little samples I got. So we have... Okay, this, these are the ones I was the most excited about. Um, these are ink samples of from a company called J. Urban. I believe they're French. Um, these are colored inks, but they have these beautiful gold flecks, um, which I have not seen any other inks that actually, for fountain pens that actually have gold flecks. This one is called Rouge Hematite. Um, it's a beautiful dark red. This one is Blue Ocean. A lovely bright blue. And this one is called Stormy Gray. I don't know if you can even see. You can see it's sort of a, you can almost see. You can't see the gold, but you can see that there's like a, some kind of a sheen in there. And that would be the gold the gold flags. And I think this one too, you see? I am so, these are the three that I was desperate to get samples of because I am dying to try them. Um, I've seen photos of, um, you know, kind of samples where people have written and they're so beautiful. I was very excited about those. Okay, here we have Monteverde Pink, a lovely bright pink. Noodler's Habanero, which is um, a lovely dark kind of a corally orangey sepia kind of color. Uh, this is Lamy Neon Lime. Very bright. I love this. I'm very excited about being able to try some of these crazy colors um, with, you know, the smaller sample packs. So cool. Okay. What do we have here? Wild Strawberry, which is a lovely, bright, kind of darkish red color. Diamond Soft Mint, which um, from pictures was exactly as described, a lovely, almost pastel kind of color. Uh, this one is um, called Fir, uh, F-I-R, and it's a kind of sprucy green, and this one is supposed to be scented. I don't know if that's a, let's see. Oh, and it absolutely is. It smells like pine trees. Uh, this one is Document Yellow. Very bright, almost like highlighter bright. I love it. I'm very excited to try all of these. I can't wait. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna be writing for the rest of the day for sure. Private Reserve Sepia, which is a beautiful cocoa brown. Cyclamen Pink. Very bright pink. Gosh, I guess I got two very bright pinks, didn't I? Oh, one of these was, um, one of them was, let me see if it says on my packing soap. One of the ones I ordered was just, um, they will surprise you with a, um, a random color. Oh, and they didn't say on here what it was, but I'm guessing it's one of the pinks, because I don't think I ordered two. Um, this one is called Terracotta. I don't know if you can even, I don't know if you guys are really getting the color effect here with the lighting and the camera, but, um, Oma's New Gray, which, um, was a, almost, like, they, they show you samples of what it looks like, in, you know, written on paper, and it's kind of like a, like a paler gray, which I thought was really, really pretty. Uh, this is another scented ink. This one is Blackberry. Um, and I'm not sure if you can... The darker inks just really look dark, but... Oh, I smell it. I think I just got ink on my nose. Oh, I did. Amazing. <laughs> I guess that serves me right. Anyway, um, I just wanted to do this quick unboxing. Um, like I said, this is my first order from Goulet Pens, but I'm so excited to be able to try... Um, a, some new pens. Amazing, beautiful new pens I'm really excited about. And... Oh my gosh, look at all these luscious inks. They're so cool. Up until now, um, all the inks I've had for my um, my Pilot Namiki Vanishing Point um, were, well, except for my foray into the drawing inks, which is a big no-no and I don't recommend it. Um, I have Amethyst, which is just a purple, dark purple. 
Um, and I have a bottle of cocoa, which is a, a dark brown. And that's it. That is it. This right now actually has a cartridge in it um, because that's how it came back from the factory, so I'm just still using it. Um, and it's working, it's working great. The cartridge is fine. Um, the only reason I probably would not continue to do cartridges is because I have ink ADD and the cartridge is a lot of ink and it will last a long time. And I like these little samples so I can switch it out regularly and try different stuff. So anyway, that's it for me. I just wanted to um, kind of quickly show you what I got. I'm so excited. Hopefully you'll be seeing um, some of these beautiful inks and some videos coming up. Um, some journaling videos or who knows what. The possibilities are endless. All right, thanks, guys. Have a great weekend.